Remember that we said you can think of a reaction as getting to the other side of a mountain? Everyone wants to be on the other side of a mountain, but unfortunately, there's a mountain in the way. This is activation energy. We can represent activation energy using an energy profile diagram, which really looks like a journey to the other side of the mountain, literally. The y-axis represents the energy level of the molecules. The difference between the energy level of the reactants and the peak of their energy profile represents the activation energy of the reaction. Activation energy is the amount of energy required to bring the reactants to their transition state, which is a state where the bonds where the bonds to be broken are the weakest and the most unstable. And this state allows the bonds to be broken more easily and triggers the catalytic reaction. In short, get to this point, reaction happens, you get product, done. What do enzymes do then? They provide an alternative energy pathway with a lower energy peak that can be reached more easily as compared to the pathway without the enzyme. Take note that the enzyme does not actually lower the activation energy of the original pathway. It merely provides another pathway with a lower activation energy. Obviously, when given two paths, one over a big mountain and one over a small hill, you will pick the one that's easier to travel across, right? So the path with a smaller activation energy, or smaller mountain, is going to cost less energy, and will hence be favoured by you, your enzyme, and your cow. Therefore, by providing an alternative energy pathway, enzymes increase the likelihood of the occurrence of a reaction and acting as a catalyst.